right, I'm back again. This is two vids in one night. But, you know, tomorrow's Easter, and then i got to work the next days after that, so I wanted to get them in now. Um, fresh off that uh, amazing package from one uh, Anthony, we will make the flawless vid. Now, you remember my couple videos ago, I told you I don't really like to do hit drafts in flawless, just because, you know, it's so dependent on, number one, is it a good case? Number two... Does the randomizer screw you? You know, because you have to be in the top couple picks or otherwise. Usually you're going to get the hammer, you know what I mean? But, <laughs> not, there's only a couple breakers who did pick your teams. Because obviously it's a gamble, because most likely you're getting nothing. I mean, think about it. There's only 20 cards in a case. A couple teams are going to double hit. So half the teams aren't getting anything. So... You know, obviously, I understand why you wouldn't do it. So I was like, "All right." So Oslander, who I like to, I like to break with some of the smaller breakers. Personally, I like to support the smaller business, so to speak. You know, where everyone actually knows each other, and he actually knows me by name. Right when I, you know. So I was like, he was doing hit drafts because he was afraid he wouldn't be able to fill, you know, with his size room, fill a picture your team. So I was like, you know what? I'd rather support him. I'll do a couple hit drafts with him. Because the picker teams, I was always at work when they got lifted, so I could never get the team I wanted anyway. So I was like, all right, I'll do a couple hit drafts with him, see how it works out. I was like, this way he's a little small break. By the way, Oslander 79 on Breakers TV. If you want football breaks, competitive pricing, he goes above and beyond for his people too. Like, I'm pretty low maintenance. He's got some high maintenance people in there. And like I said, just all around genuine dude. So definitely go check him out if you're into football breaks. But so I did two snake drafts of flawless. Uh, I got the fifth pick and the third pick. So not bad, not anal rapage. I'll show the first one. I'm happy with what I got with at five. So we'll show the second card I got at the five spot. Lamar Miller Diamond. Which, now that he's a Texan, I don't like you anymore. But, no, he's a nice guy. Just left left for the money. Nothing wrong with that. But, Sapphire, you know, this ain't much of anything. But, Lamar Miller, solid player, number to 10. But, this card I was actually pretty pumped about. Um, number one, I always love this set every year. Which, they have a different design, which looks good. I think I prefer the 15... Flawless design, the best, the vertical one, but this still looks nice. It's number two out of five. I was fortunate enough to get this because the guy went PC right in front of me, so he took a card that was lesser value, but it was for his collection. And Dan Reno, by the way, was the number one pick, and Dan Reno popped out, of course, you know. I was like, but obviously you weren't getting that at five. That was the first pick. But out of two out of five, the great dual patch autograph of Champ Bailey. Gorgeous card. What up, my Broncos fans? Three color, three color. Ba bam. Number two out of five. So very short printed. I was really pumped to get that in the five spot. So. Really nice. So I was satisfied with that, you know. For getting the five spot, I'll take that all day. And then, because that case really wasn't that good, but the next case we were in was loaded. There was a Jared Goff number to two logo patch autograph, a Dak Prescott diamond, all kinds of stuff, you know. And uh, both of those cards went ahead of this one. And I was freaking thrilled with it because I'd rather have this card over the those other two any day of the week. So the Jared Goff 1 of 2 logo patch autograph went first, and then the Dak Prescott Diamond went second. And this beauty went third. It's Flawless Signatures. Platinum, 
platinum. And what does platinum mean in flawless? Well, that's a one on one, folks. Of Bo Jackson. Let's get it to focus. Let's bring it in. 101 Bo Jackson. All the shine is messing it up. But you see the 101 in the corner. Bo Jackson. I would take it out of the mag, but I don't really like to touch it again. <laughs> if I when I don't have to, you yeah. know. But Bo Jackson 101 autograph with the third pick. Couldn't believe it. They went with the rookie stuff first. I'd rather have this any day of the week. So, 101. We can all guess where that's going to end up. <laughs> Anybody who has uh, been on YouTube a while knows where that's going to end up. But Bo Jackson, 101. Not getting a good picture. The light's not perfect for it. All this little silver foils jacking it up. But you get the idea. 101, Bo Jackson. The other card was a... Cam Newton patch card, who I sold to the breaker because he's a Panthers fan. So I told him, I was like, we'll work out something for that. It stays in your house. So, like I said, that case was amazing, honestly. That was a really good case, the second one. So, the hit draft thing ended up working out. Basically, this card pretty much paid for that. So, yeah, that's what my flawless dealings is. Um, so yeah, that's pretty good mail, pretty good mail. So that's all I got. Have a great Easter with the family folks. And until next week, bye-bye.